What up, everybody? This is your boy, DJ Mixmaster, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last video, we tried to make it to the World Tree, ended up running into something uh, Pyra called Ophion, and as a result of running into that monstrosity, we ended up being driven off course, and ended up being swallowed whole by the Uriah Titan. And upon trying to make it to civilization, we end up running into a mercenary by the name of Bandum. Thought he was a bad guy that was trying to take power, but it turns out he's a pretty decent guy. And it looks like he might be taking us under his wing. Anywho, we are uh, about to meet up with Vandom to help him out with something. Maybe he might teach you some stuff, I don't know. So let's go ahead and get started. So he wanted us to meet him. And he's so quick that we didn't realize that he had already made it up here. And arrived. You sure know how to keep a guy waiting, rookies. Very sorry for wait. It's fault of Phantom for rushing off ahead. <laughs> Sorry about that. I guess you've already seen it when we fought earlier, but let's introduce ourselves properly, shall we? I'm Brock, Vandom's Blade. Pleasure to meet you all. The pleasure's all ours. I noticed you use an unusual style of weapon. Yeah, they're called dual sides. Even around here, I've never met anyone but Vandom who can use them. Wow, big man, very amazing. <laughs> Don't fatter him too much. He'll let it go to his head. Vandom only have one blade then? Yeah, pretty much. I know most drivers have a few so they can change up their strategies in battle, but me? Rock's all I've ever needed. Big Man really is amazing. <laughs> Sounds to me like you just can't be bothered to think of more than one strategy, eh, old man? <laughs> well, now that we all know each other, let's get down to business. He just dodged a question. An expert dodge, to be sure. <laughs> we just got a job to go check out some kind of crazy energy effect. Somewhere up around the blowhole. What do you say? Fancy being a mercenary for a day? Um, okay. But, I mean, we don't work for free. Don't worry, kid. You'll get paid. Okay. So... Let's swap out Tor for Vandom. Have him in our party for a little while. An ether miasma. Take it, this is your first one. Ether miasma? It's a load of poisonous waste products spewed from the Titan's gut. You know, when you get gassy, kinda like that. Um, is there a way through this thing? I can't see any way round it. Hey, no fear. Rock, mate, you're up. My asthma's died down. <laughs> yep, nothing to it. 
Let's roll! Hey, just got rid of that just quickly, huh? <laughs> come out, come out! Ooh, chest is always welcome. Treasure acquired. Hey, look what I found. Congratulations. Okay, we're tired. We're barely. Just what we need. Briggs, any good with that anchor? Yeah, I get by. And then here. Now watch. Using it that way. The trick is to pull it toward at just the right moment. Now you try. Oh, cool. Does that mean Anchor Shot ended up getting an additional effect? Time to take you down. Let's show him how that bandit guy is a pretty effective teacher. Thanks to his lesson, Rex's anchor shot art now has the ability to inflict top one foes. Yes, he did! Oh, this is awesome! Okay. However, just using anchor shot on its own won't generally be enough to topple the enemy. To inflict topple, you'll first need to destabilize the enemy's stance with a break effect. Nia has an art that can inflict break on the enemy, so for maximum effect, wait for her to set you up before unleashing anchor shot. Nice, okay. Looks like one of your allies has inflicted break. See the gauge the arrow is pointing at? This is the driver combo gauge and it will appear whenever someone inflicts break on the enemy. Use an art that has a topple effect before the gauge runs out and you'll have the opportunity to inflict major damage. This is what we call a driver combo. A driver combo can be extended through up to four stages in total. Break and topple, then launch, then smash. You'll find Rex and his friends have a variety of arts that can be integrated into a driver combo, so try to find the best ways to link them all together. For now though, why don't you take advantage of Nia's break effect and topple that Arden with your anchor shot? Now I'm 
Got it after seeing it once. Not bad, kid. Hey. <laughs> Listen up, kid. Drivers use arts, but that doesn't just mean using the powers your blade gives you. There are arts that use your own strength or take advantage of your enemies. There are all sorts. A driver's job is to be smart with his arts and protect his blade. Protect my blade. Yeah. It's a two-way thing, kid. You gotta be aware of the power coming out of her. Don't waste it. Channel it through your arts and protect her. If you can do that, then you're a true driver, kid. A true driver? I don't know. Am I ready? Course you are. That thing from before. Took me five years to learn that. Five years? Yeah, but you saw it once, and then you aced it like it was nothing. And you got Nia and Tora in tow. Those guys are pretty handy. Kid, you got a bright future. I think I'm gonna spew. Biggie Pon has scary face, but he very nice. <laughs> Suss me out, Furry Pon. <laughs> cool. Ended up getting a bunch of level ups for different blades, so Bam. I had the idea. I see, indeed. I think that was it. Yeah, I had totally forgot to do this. Let's just level up some stuff. Training's paying off. Getting better. Yep. Job done. Getting better. Okay, it works. Nice one! Nice one! Then near. Let's see. That takes care of that. Let's have that because that's probably going to be useful. Hey, we didn't do half bad.
Ah, uh, why not? And then... Yeah, muscle belt. Okay, all fully kitted out and everything. It must have sensed our skill. We're not gonna stop, we're just gonna keep going. Like I thought. A Titan? So that weird power effect they clocked? Maybe this is the cause? Yeah, sure looks like it. I'll hazard it wasn't death by old age, either. Might have been an accident. On the other hand, it might have been attacked. Hey, look! Seems like this Titan dying off has stirred up something else. This creature has bonded with a blade. Are you kidding me? Are you all right? Everyone's getting sucked. You can me. I'm getting fighting up. Our emotions are in tune, right? My thoughts are rolling smash. Yes, it's okay. Make my haste to the cave. Our emotions are in tune, right? Yeah. Ranging to the edge. Show muscles right now. Show. Yeah. Oh, no, you don't. Ha. Ha. Thanks for that. Ha. Now, let's show you how to really move. Double. Now I feel it. Double slash. 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 Double Ah, Grump said it best. Right. Are you ready? Right? Right? Yeah. 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 Just taste the pain. Is this to your liking? 
The blade returned to its core. So that monster was in resonance with the blade. Tora cannot resonate. Stinky monster can resonate. Not fair. But Master Pon had Poppy. Oh, Poppy! <laughs> if a blade loses its driver, it winds up like this. So is it like dead? Nah. The crystals start glowing again after a bit of time. Then a new driver can resonate with it. But... There's a bot? Its memory will be totally zapped. It'll be reborn as a new blade. Won't remember a thing. Yeah? That's pretty rough. To have all your past wiped out like that. But memories can be... painful as well. They can be a terrible burden. And a blade can live forever, as long as the crystal exists. It's just as well. Eternity is a long time to collect bad memories. Pyra. I'm sorry. I was just thinking, sometimes being able to forget is a blessing. Come on, let's get finished up here. That's... A core crystal! What? Well, that's where they come from. Out of Titans. This one's brand new and ready to resonate, like a big steak, right before you take that first bite. It'll probably end up buddying up with a bunch of drivers. Every time the driver dies, it'll forget everything and return to its core. Eventually, it'll resonate with a new driver. Drivers dying, Titans dying. The blade just keeps on living through it all. It's a never-ending cycle, an eternal history. As mortals, we'll never be able to understand. It's incredible. Could her old driver still be alive somewhere? Perhaps. Got the beastly core crystal. All right. Time to head back. to the end.
<laughs> hey, hold still. I thought you were a tough salvager, Rex. Give me a break. Pain is pain, isn't it? How about you? Are you hurt? Don't worry. It's just a scratch. <laughs> that was on purpose. You were hurting me on purpose, weren't you? Well... I wasn't. Honest. I was just rubbing the lotion in. Rex, you rubbed it too hard. Ah. It hurts. Hey, See? you two. Give me a look at that. What is this? Haven't seen this before. Don't know why a blade would be stuck with a bunch of wounds. And they're exactly the same as Rex's. Incredible. Never heard of such a thing. It's all true. I just thought it was an accessory. Van Damme, that's not my style. Blades are supposed to heal up right away, no matter what the wound. If the crystal's in one piece and the driver's alive, nothing can touch them. So why is she all bashed up? That's just how the chips fell. It is what it is. What it is is a problem. It means if one of you kicks the bucket, you both do. You told me that a good driver always protects his blade. So that's what I'll do. I'm gonna protect her. Easier said than done, kid. Listen, Pyra, she saved my life, brought me back from the dead. So I won't die again. I've got to live for her sake until we get to Elysium, at least. We can make it together. Rex, you mean? Going to Elysium? I can't let that stand. It won't do. A bunch of amateurs stealing the show? The script exists for a reason. Akos. Please speak only when you're spoken to, traitor. Traitor, traitor, traitor! Nia, you're one of the baddies now, you villain. <laughs> I didn't betray anyone. Then why do you stand with them? You think that is where you belong? But I... I... <laughs> Who are these goons? Torna. They're trying to get their hands on Pyra. Torna? Akos, just tell us what you're here for. Well, the Aegis, of course. I just had to come and see the leading lady with my own eyes. Jin put you up to this. Well deduced. Oh, by the way, his orders were to deal with you in whatever manner I see fit. So, you know what that means. He wouldn't. You're lying! Why the surprise? Did you think he would still care about you? Oh, to live in your reality. Ow! Well, well. Your part in this play is coming to an end. So, time for you to shuffle off the stage. What's wrong? I know the name Torna. They've taken the lives of too many drivers, including some of my crew, good people. Rumor says it's because they're collecting core crystals. So, if this Akos is one of them, you! Zuo! Get everyone out of the village! Yes, sir! You ready? Ready. Got it. Thanks for this. No problem. It'll be tough. His blade, Obrona, she can manipulate the ether in the air. It lets him counter elemental attacks by generating fields of the opposing element. Finally! A decent opponent for a change! Let's go! Don't get ahead of yourselves! Rex! Alright, it's time you learn to take your teamwork to the next level. Introducing Chain Attacks, a way for your whole party to deal massive damage to the enemy. First, let's take a look at the party gauge. We may have 
touched on this before, but it has more uses than just getting your allies back on their feet. When all three sections of the party gauge are fully charged, you're ready to launch a chain attack by pressing the start button. During a chain attack, each of your party members in turn can choose one of their currently engaged blades to perform a special whip. For example, first Rex might choose to use a special with Pyra, then Dia might choose Dromark, and finally Tora can use one with Poppy. Once everyone's had a turn, that's a single round. What's more, during a chain attack, you have the opportunity opportunity to destroy the unhelpful element orbs that attach to your enemies when using specials. If you use a special with an opposing element against the element orb, it'll be easier to smash and you can do massive damage if it does smash. So think carefully about the order in which you summon your blades and which special you use. Then when you next start a chain attack, the party gauge will be replaced with the full burst gauge. The full burst gauge will fill up a little each time you smash an element orb and when it's full, a full burst will initiate. And as you might have guessed, when a full burst initiates, your enemies will be on the wrong end of massive damage. Earlier I told you that you need to hit home with a level 3 blade combo to add an, an element orb, but this time let's just add a water orb to Akos for free. I'll drop you a little hit so you can smash the orb effectively. You're better off striking with a special that has the opposite element, which in this case is fire. I maxed out your party gauge for you, so why don't you try hitting the start button and try a chain attack for yourself? Alright. Me first. Flame Nova! Van Damme, your turn! Oh, I got it! Death wing! What elemental burst! Nia! You're up! On it! Let's keep up the pressure! Astounding! And another one! Astounding! Go for it! Provenance! Revolt! Astounding! Thunder, your turn! Yeah. Step aside! Yeah. Ah. Astounding! Nia! You're Zuma. up! Back your set! Magnificent! Chain attack, finish! You got it already buffed next time! That's teamwork! Now, let's show them what we're doing! We want awesome! You're a spinning edge! Muscle slash! A brona! Rolling shot! No effect! Blind spot! I'm gonna have to stop! Make me a little bit! Watch and learn! Rolling Shadow cut! Oh, Please go and pull it! Sure! Rex, save yourself! Stop! Stop! Oh, you worry too much! So a I shall defend you! Watch! You can do it! Rex! Yeah! Anchor shot! Let us make you a star! Yeah! Flash of steel! Double spinning X! Star smash! Muscle smash! Shadow cut! Quick and hard! Corona! Yeah! Ah! A miss! What would you have me do? Gotcha! No, no, no! Oh, this checkmate is annoying. Such an honor sharing a stage with the legendary Aegis. Huh? Why would the driver? 
It seems that they're taking each other's damage somehow. Ah. So that means that the Aegis is a mere mortal right now. In that case, a little more damage, and she'll be easy to deal with. <gasps> Kids these days, I swear. Can't leave you alone for a minute. Could you use a hand? Leave it to me. I'll take this dog down! Uh. to deflect now. You and your fancy moves. You lack grit. Just too many of these bit players. My interest is winged. Abrona, perhaps it's time for another tale. <sighs> sure, sure. Sure. How is she? She's not badly hurt. Dromark thinks she just needs rest. That's good to hear. Maybe. I used too much power again. Hey, Rex. Hmm? Know what the difference is between me and that Aircos fella? Well, he's a bad guy trying to get Pyra. And you're... No. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence, kid. What if I told you that we weren't that different? Huh? My crew at the village, we think we're fighting for justice. But a just fight? I'm telling you now, there's no such thing. What people call justice, it's just an excuse to fight. War is war. The more you stand up for yourself, the more people want to fight you. Before you know it, you're in a war. Listen, all I'm saying is, we've got our fight, and he's got his. But what he's doing is... Yeah, it's bad. But war ain't about right and wrong. Power. That's all it is. And power can take many different forms. If we don't use our power, just because we're scared of it, we're done for. As for who's right and who's wrong, no one knows for sure. So all we can do is protect what's important. I think I understand. We all got our own war, kid. My... war? Good morning. Pyra, feeling better? Yeah, I slept so much. Good. Glad to hear. Also, Nia's got something to talk to you about. She does? Yeah. Go ahead, Nia. Uh, um, I... Rex, I want you to come help me. Um, come where? To Van Dam. I need to tell him about... My past with Akos and all that lot. Ah, sure. If you'd like me to, I will. Thanks. 
Nia originally said she was going to go alone, but I said maybe it'd be better if you went along too. Uh, maybe I should explain. Van Tam, he kind of scares me a bit. Ha <laughs> ha, I get it. All right, we got our tank back. Everything is all right with the world. <laughs> all right, so with that, I believe this is a good place to take a break. Next video, we'll go ahead and help Nia talk to Vandom about her past. Meanwhile, before we finish officially, There goes that beastly core. All right, we'll do some commons again. It's all yours. Alright y'all, so like and comment on the video, subscribe for more gameplay, and with that, see ya, peace.